uh, let's talk in general about statistical arbitrage strategies. Uh, this is a term that is been used very generally, and it is one of the most popular type of uh, strategies in quantitative trading. Uh, one of the statistical arbitrage strategy many people uh, are familiar with is the directional trading. You are just trading, uh, you know, one instrument signals independently of any others. Whether this uh, uh, instrument is uh, crude oil future or uh, the Google stock or uh, some other. Uh, um, uh, instrument like Bitcoin, for example. Uh, you don't care how other instruments behave, you only care about the history and perhaps the fundamental indicators relevant to this particular instrument. So that's directional uh, trading. The other kind of uh, statistical arbitrage is closer to what we are going to discuss. That's pairs and other co-integrated portfolio trading. In this type of trading, the signals uh, the trading signals depend on the relative value between two or more instruments. That's why there's the term pairs, but it doesn't have to be just two instruments, for example, Apple versus Google. It could be an entire portfolio, such as uh, five technology stock, Apple, Google, uh, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, Facebook, could form a, a portfolio, and if they are found to be quote-unquote co-integrated, we can trade them uh, using this type of setup strategy. Now, what does what do I mean by co-integrated? We will explain in a little bit, and also we'll explain in detail in the course. There is also the type of strategy called index arbitrage. Uh, in this case, we are trading the relative value, and I, I emphasize the term relative value. You know, we are not trading the whether you know we are not trying to predict whether the index is going to go up or down, whether the stock is going to go up or down. We are trying to predict whether the whether the relative value of a two stocks or whether the relative value between an index and a basket of stocks is going to go up or down. So in index arbitrage we are the signals depend on the relative value between the basket of instrument and an index future. Uh, the traditional index arbitrage uh, the basket of instrument will compose of all the components of the index with capital allocation in the exact same amount as the index. But that kind of index arbitrage, that kind of index arbitrage is no longer profitable. So what we will discuss in this course is a kind of index arbitrage, modified index arbitrage, where the basket of instrument are selected based on some criteria, not simply to replicate exactly what the index is. Going Beyond index arbitrage, we can have the long short portfolio. Now, the long short portfolio, uh, again, the long portfolio could have many stocks and the short portfolio have many stocks. Uh, and the signal typically depend on the, uh, the ranking of the component based on some criteria. Uh, this criteria is often called a factor. So we are oftentimes ranking the stocks based on some factor or a collection of factors. And we will long the portfolio that uh, uh, that with the stocks that are higher rank in these factors and the short the portfolio that are lower rank. So typically the long short portfolio uh, have numerous components, many more than a um, pair trading portfolio or a co-integrated portfolio or even an index arbitrage portfolio. Now, um, as I mentioned, the criteria is often called factor and Factor models is one type of long short portfolio, and there can be any many type of factors. It could be statistical factors, <clears throat> it could be factors as simple as using a technical indicator, or it could be complicated factors that are created from uh, principal component analysis, or it could be fundamental factors that are extracted from the uh, financial statements of companies. Uh, but factor model uh, is a very fast subject. It will not be covered in this course, uh, but I would just include it as the type one one type of statistical arbitrage strategies that people often trade. Um, so what we will focus on in this course is the pairs trading strategy and the portfolio trading strategy and a little bit of index arbitrage and long short portfolio uh, models. And in particular, there's one thing in common amongst all these strategies that we will discuss, and it is that they are mean reverting strategies. 